Hi, and today this is the second episode concerning this laser seeker from a Maverick missile. So let's start by removing this cover here. Okay, so it seems effectively that this thing was never removed because it seems that the seal is intact. Oh, okay, so we can see there are three sub D connectors. So this is a separate unit, and there is a large ground connection here. Okay, so the first thing we can do is to remove this ground. Okay, so this is the electronic side, and we can see there are a lot of electronic boards. I think that all the guidance system is inside. We can see that it will be also very difficult to disassemble that thing. I don't even know if it is possible. This thing obviously is not designed for service. It is used only once. There are two screws here, but I don't know the purpose of these screws. Okay, so this is a kind of composite material. The kind of fiberglass, I don't know. And look at that. Look at these beautiful transistors, military part. This is the Jan TX part, dead code 74. So there is a very big crystal oscillator, 10.25 MHz, and we can see that there are four modules. Okay, so this is a three board the design. Look at the complexity of that thing. So this is a pure analog design. There are a few logic ICs maybe, but not a lot. Yes, we can see here a 54 279. I don't remember it is not common. Otherwise there are obscure references. All parts started by 38510. This is the military marking. Now we have several UA760. So I don't know, maybe your pumps, comparators, or something like that. And several transistors, a classic 2N2222, 2907. There are some very nice capacitors here. We can see a transistor which was added at the end. We can see also the base resistor here. We can see also other bodies here. Oh, look at that. Look at these modifications. There are also a lot of bodies on that board. So we can see this IC 
which was mounted upside down on this transistor as well. You can see also other parts here. Transistor, another one. Uh, this is the capacitor, sorry. There is another transistor here. And this board is interesting. It seems we have several times the same thing. Six times. We have six trimmers here. And six parts. The markings are more or less erased. And these are maybe op amps. Okay, so let's see the last board. You can see the flat flex soldered between the two boards. Okay, so we can see that there are also several bodies. We can see that we have also two power transistors with the same reference. So this is also an analog board. Now there are several analog switches, DG something here. And there are several resistor networks and several trimmers here. This unit is probably the power supply for that device. It is totally potted, so it is not possible to see what is inside. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time for the next episode. Bye bye.